Hi, how are you? I've been fighting with this thing all day. It is now... Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Let me start over. I've been fighting with this fucking thing all day. It is running. I have it on low. Low temp. Um, and the exhaust is still pretty hot. Like 180, like 200 right where it comes out. 180 to 160-ish where it's going through the floor. Uh, the thing that I bought that is supposed to reduce the heat going through the floor does nothing. It just absorbs all the heat and puts the heat directly on the wood. It'd probably be smarter just to not even use it. I think I'm giving up on this fucking thing. Uh, if I run it on really low temp, it's probably not hot enough to start a fire tonight. I'm only going to run it for maybe 10-20 minutes, warm the place up, and then hope that the insulation is enough to trap the heat. So it's running now, I'm going to shut it off, I'll probably turn it on again once before bed, shut it off, and that's it. Um, it does work really fucking well. It throws out a lot of heat. Uh, is it worth dying in a fire? Probably not, I think I'll just be cold for another couple days. And then I'm just going to do that thing I said with the, the board and exhaust right through the window. So I can just move it whenever I want. I can uh, remove it in summer and spring and it's, it's just not going to be in the way like that. I've given up on trying to run it out the, the floor. It's just not going to happen. Um, I'm sure there's a way to do it, but I'm always going to be worried if it's going to catch on fire or not. I don't know. And I've been fighting with this fucking stupid heater all day, and it sucks. But it's up and running now, and it's pretty warm. It's already warming this place up. Um, but I don't, I don't want to run it much longer, because I'm afraid of catching everything on fire. I'm trying to think what else. I don't know, man. I did a bunch of shit this week. I'm gonna do more in the upcoming days. Hopefully I can get this fucking, this plumbing done. I'd like, I would like to take a hot fucking shower in a finished shower by Christmas. I don't know if that's possible. If I can get everything plumbed and running and get the tile up and all that shit. Um, but that is my goal. However, I only, I don't know, man. I don't stick with any project. I do dumb little shit for a minute and then I work on something else and then I work on something else. I'm like... Like today, I didn't plan on running this fucking heater, but I knew it was going to get cold tonight, so that's all I did all day long, was fucking run the wire for it and and fight with it, fight with the exhaust, fight with everything. I had to rip the fucking skirting off the bottom of this place. I'm putting that shit back on tomorrow. Gives a fuck. It'll just be cold. <sighs> I am such a piece of shit. Dude, I fucking... I just get depressed out here. There's no one to talk to. There's nothing going on. It's just, I don't know, man. I get fucking bummed at times out here. I got no, I got nobody to share anything with. You know what I mean? Win, wins or losses. It's just, it's all fucking me. Which I, I knew that going into it, but like, I don't know, man. It's not like, like even at my old house, I didn't really do much. I didn't, I didn't fucking see people ever. I barely did anything, you know what I mean? Um, but there's some shit that I miss, you know? Like, uh, I mean, since COVID, you can't go out. You can't do shit. But, like, I don't know. I miss PlayStation. I miss Warzone. I want to go fucking shoot someone in the face. I want to I wanna drop in, fucking find a gun, and plop, 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 plop. Clacka, 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 blacka, blacka, blah, 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 pa, 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 You ever see that fucking video the dude did with, uh, I don't know what that song is, but it's, a uh, Grand Theft Auto. Dude is just, like, riding around at a piano shooting people. So dumb.
videos. Tuesday, November 24th. Uh, woke up early this morning to go into town. I had to mail some eBay because that is the tiniest little bit of money that I am making at this point in my life. Um, and I went and got some food and I had to get some plumbing stuff. And as I was uh, gathering shit up to leave today, I'm not going to say my back went out. But, like, I felt a muscle in my back start to spasm. Uh, pretty much the same spot as before, except the other side of my back. So, I don't know if just, like, my lower back is completely degenerating or if this is, if this has nothing to do with it. It felt like it did the first time, but not bad. Like, the first time, the shit popped and I couldn't move for days. This felt like... And it felt weird for a second, and then it felt like uh, like after my back popped, like maybe five days later, you know, that kind of thing. So I freaked out for a minute. You know, I wasn't even doing anything. I was out in a shipping container gathering up eBay shit to, to fucking mail, right? Uh, doing nothing, just standing, basically. I mean, I might have had my, like, torso twisted or whatever, but it was like nothing. Um so, I came back in the house, I fucking strapped on a back brace, haven't worn a back brace in over a month, strapped that shit on, and I'm pushing through my fucking day, and honestly, it doesn't hurt as bad right now, but it feels weird, and I know when I lay down, this shit's gonna tense up, and it's gonna be a problem. But, if I get incapacitated at this point in my life, that would be devastating. I don't know what I'd do. I don't think I could survive here. If I can't stand for two or three days and move around, I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. So I had some plans on what I was going to do today, but I'm scrapping all that and trying to get this heater in place because if for some reason my back does pop, I don't want to lay in the cold and also not have water and not have fucking, you know what I mean? No water, no heat. No fucking hope. <laughs> so I don't know. That's what I'm doing right now. I am uh, trying to fuck with this eater. Let me show you where I'm at. Like, because the first thing that was going through the floor, I scrapped it. It was getting too hot. And I am i don't always want to be nervous that the fucking floor is going to catch on fire. You know what I mean? I don't want to have to deal with that. Because I plan on having it go out through the wood wall, curve down, go through the wood floor. It's just a bit much. So I'm doing like a kind of temporary install. Uh, and I'm going to have the exhaust go straight out the window through a piece of wood that I've cut. I ordered a, uh, it was $7 on eBay. It's a piece of ceramic cloth. It's basically threads of rock, which I don't know how the fuck they make threads out of stone, but it's, it's ceramic stone woven into tiny fine threads and then woven together into a piece of cloth. And supposedly it completely stops heat from going through it. So maybe that would have even worked in the floor, but problem with the floor is I had the skirting off and I would have had to keep the skirting off until it came or or I'd have to take it back off I just gave up on it man it's going out the window and that way it's a temporary install and when spring comes and I don't need a heater anymore I can pull it off the wall and fucking put it away for spring and summer you know what I mean uh it seems a little better so let me show you what I'm gonna do all right I cut this piece of wood right this fits the window perfectly. It actually slides into the gaps on the side of the window. I had to cut this slit down it, which I did by hand and it's not the straightest thing, but it does fit. I had to, had to like double wide cut it um, because, can you see that? There's like a little plastic fucking lip here and I guess it catches this and keeps it a little, a little tighter down, but in the way so so anyway that thing slides maybe eighth of an inch into this on each side it fits very flush with the bottom i'm gonna close this down on it and that's that maybe i'll put some insulation on it maybe not not 100 percent sure gonna go i had these brackets in a fucking toolbox because i'm a i'm a hoarder and i keep things so i'm going to put them on here somewhere i haven't really decided where 
and then this thing I built a little uh, I put these blocks on it to give it some clearance and I put a piece of wood just to like stabilize it because it's this thin sheet metal and they're fucking rocking around cut two pieces in that wood that go through here uh, one of them I will use this through through hull exhaust fitting and if it's not wide enough I will cut the hole even bigger and use this was the piece that I cut off the top of the tractor pipe I will use that um, and fit it really tight in the wood right and then uh, just kind of jam the um, insulation shit through this with the pipe and I'm hoping it won't transfer heat to it because the problem that I was having with the floor is the pipe was touching this and it was transferring heat and this was actually getting hotter because this is thicker metal this was like holding the heat and then in between the pipe and this in there in that like cavity it was so fucking hot that it's, it was too much it was too much to worry about so what I'm gonna do is fucking figure out where to put these so that it's in a good spot these brackets mount the wood onto there I want to get as much clearance upward as I can so that nothing's touching against this plastic or whatever and then I'm gonna go out the wood uh, spot that I'm gonna cut a hole in. The problem is you need you need your exhaust to go to face downward because this is a uh, I mean it, it could kick moisture out you know what I mean so you can't have your exhaust curved back or else the moisture is gonna sit in the exhaust pipe and either boil which wouldn't be the worst or not boil and just fill up the exhaust and that that would be worse if you're running it on low I don't think that exhaust temp might not get to boiling. You know what I mean? I don't think either way it's good though. It's gonna make a lot of soot and it's gonna fuck things up. So somehow I need to get this thing up high enough so that the exhaust runs out and then always downward. And then this thing goes outside, I'll clamp it onto something. I don't know. Right now I'm kind of just bullshitting. It is 52 degrees. It's only supposed to go down in the 50s tonight. And then tomorrow in the 40s at night. And then every night afterwards is freezing. Uh, next week, we start hitting the 20s. 25, 22, I saw. Uh, it's going to be fucked. All right. I just got this done. Does not look pretty, but it is finished. That's how I'm going to keep this exhaust up from the windowsill. I realize it's kind of bullshitted. Don't care don't care there's two screws holding this block on then there's I have two going through this one then I have a f two four inch screws going up through there and probably digging into here a little bit not a hundred percent sure same on this side uh, I did it that way so I can like I said I got to keep the exhaust up off the windowsill and I want it to be kind of more towards the middle of that board when it's closed in there not not going through the bottom there wasn't enough clearance before it's starting to rain right now so i gotta get get inside i don't know i have some inside work to do i'm gonna kind of mount this in place and sort of hook this up i don't think i'm gonna need this for today or tomorrow i mean 50 50 degrees that ain't shit dude i'm spending 20 it was 27 the other night and i spent it in here with no heat so fuck off with your 50 degrees. All right, so I put these brackets here and that is up on them. This will kind of bend that bracket down, I guess, when it cinches in. They are just on the edge. That gives me a ton of clearance here. It might even be too high, but I will make this work. And then that way, this one here is just gonna go kind of straight out and to the left, and then I'm gonna have the exhaust come out and go towards the right, so that they're not sucking up the same air. This thing definitely works though. It works really well. It fucking heated this place up the other day. Uh, just on the lowest level, it was 70 degrees in here. And I had it, I mean, I did have it running all day, you know, like maybe four or five hours, maybe even a little longer, but it was uh, like uncomfortably warm on the low level. But goddamn, that's ugly as fuck. I don't care, man. It's gonna be good enough. It's also gonna be a bitch to, to fill it 
because I have a five gallon diesel tank or yeah, you know what I mean? It's a five gallon thing, which is pretty heavy. So I'm going to have to like fill it with a step stool or some, or maybe pour it into a smaller container and then fill it with that. It's uh, it's only got a five liter tank, which is like a little over a gallon. And then I'm going to screw up from the bottom. I'm probably going to drill first just so I don't split this wood because that's my way is get things almost done and then fuck it up. Uh, so I'm going to drill up from the bottom, put put six pilot holes, and then drill into it. And fuck it, this is my new heater. Good enough, yo. Good enough. I forgot to tape this part. Um, I bought this off eBay. It's like a ceramic fabric. It's one inch thick. Uh, it's This is stone. Somehow made into cloth. Like, stone woven into threads then woven into fabric i don't know I don't, I don't understand how it works either but um it was pretty thick to fit through that that hole that i have going through there the uh the wood board up in the window so i tore it it separates by layers it's like a bunch of different layers put together so i kind of tore it in half down the middle wrapped it along the length of the pipe and then I wrapped these, these little metal fucking straps came with, uh, I had like a fiberglass exhaust wrap from a motorcycle and these were the leftover straps. So I wrapped those around and then you just kind of yank on them and they get tight. I'm going to clip each one and then feed it through. And I'm hoping that this will stop, uh, the metal from touching this other, this metal here that I have going through. I'm hoping it'll stop it from touching that and then it will uh, you know direct all the heat to the outside and not not touch that through fitting because that thing it gets it doesn't get super hot but it gets warm it gets too hot to touch so I think if I ran the heater on high for a while it might be an issue it might not I don't know but it, better safe than sorry so I'm gonna run this through it and I think that should probably solve all the problems with it all right, so that didn't work. It was way too thick. I had to use a thinner piece. I have it just sticking out a little bit there and sticking out a little bit on the outside. Hopefully that works. I don't know, I can't make it worse. I can only make it better. I think this made it worse instead of better. I'm getting like fucking high ass readings near that that insulation. I think that's just trapping all the heat and making it worse. Cause the heat's definitely going through it. You can't touch that fucking thing. I don't know, man. I might have to do something else. Or maybe just never run it high like this. Cause it's I'm sweating my ass off. It's only been running for like eight minutes right now and it's way too fucking hot in here. Although I am standing directly in front of this blower too. Um yeah, I don't know, man. I'm getting like 300 degree temperatures popping out of there. Here, let me see if I can get you. Here is my verdict. This shit sucks. I mean, it's good. It, it does exactly what it says. It does. The fucking... There's no heat on this side of it. However, it is just totally trapping the heat in there. And it's getting through to this thing somehow. And it's making that hotter than it normally would be. Right there is 179. That that would normally be like a 140 spot. When you hit it here. Because right now, like I can put my finger here. But that shit's hot. I don't know. I just... It's probably not hot enough to start a fire. But what if I just want to burn this thing as hot as possible for five days. You know what I mean? Like, who knows? Maybe it starts a fire. Or maybe it fucking chars the wood or something. I don't know. I just don't want to fuck with it like that. I want to get this shit right so that it's one less stupid thing to worry about. Even though this isn't even permanent. This is just like a temporary thing. But I'll always... It'll always be in my stupid head that like, oh, fuck, check on that. Check on the temperature. Check on the temperature. Until I get them right. You know what I mean? Like, it, this shit can't just be... 250 degrees touching against wood 300 degrees touching against wood because what if it keeps absorbing heat you know what i mean i watched it for 10 minutes and it's that hot what if after 
10 days, it's fucking four, 400, 450, I think, is when wood catches on fire. God damn, I am babbling. I don't know, whatever. I'm, I'm going to uh, tear this shit out once this thing cools off. I'm going to go do some other shit right now. Alright, so this is without... Without that stuffing in there. Stuffing without... <laughs> Alright, fucking idiot. 156 on the inside with a gap. And I actually have a tiny little piece of insulation just on this side here. Where I'm shining that laser. Just because uh, the, the tube was touching the metal there and I figured maybe I could stuff one in there. And it would make a difference. I don't know that it is, but that's what I went for here. Yo, check this out. I haven't run this heater yet today. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> you fucking dickhead. You made a liar out of me. There it goes. I, I guess I didn't press the button long enough. Fancy.